Mon rêve à 18 ans, c'était de faire de la moto. En moto, si vous allez pas assez vite dans le virage, bah vous tombez. Et le chocolat, c'est pareil. Vous allez pas assez vite, ça tombe ou ça va se casser. La physique au chimie est très très proche. Le chocolat, c'est qu'une histoire de température et de, de tempérament. Il faut laisser le temps au temps pour certaines choses. Et aussi, il faut aller très très vite pour certaines choses. Quelque chose d'assez incroyable et assez instable. C'est rien d'être meilleur envoyé de France quand tu es meilleur envoyé de France. Ça, c'est sûr. Mais après, il faut rester meilleur envoyé de France. Je suis né avec ça, quoi. Cette vitesse. Et sinon, j'aurais jamais retranscrit ça dans, dans mon produit. La police en France, elle m'emmerde carrément. C'est mon problème numéro un. En France, quoi. We understand the world is the way it is. And because the world is the way it is, that's why we choose the way we live. When Ron and I got together, there was such an alchemy in the kitchen. And he started talking about feeding the world. And the vanilla beans? We Here's the syrup. There, we had vanilla beans somewhere. OK. Let's give this a wipe. There's some kind of thing in here. OK, we ready? Yeah. Well, you can ground up some cacao. OK. I'm just going to slate Okay, so th this right here is the cacao. This is a whole bean right here. And that is, that, that is dark chocolate. That is the cacao right out of the skin. Okay, so then I take a bunch of these beans. This is just, uh, now I'm, I'm grinding this away. And you can start to smell the scent of the chocolate. And it keeps going, keeps grinding, it keeps grinding until you end up with something kind of like a powder. Our desire was really to create a food that wasn't manufactured. You just kind of mix it up. Other commercial chocolate is refining the bean and then adding these other solids and sugars and then cooking it and basically killing the whole essence of the thing. And then what we end up with here is the actual chocolate. Ah. Go ahead, have the plate. It's all yours. All for Leaf. There you go. How's that chocolate, Leaf? Our chocolate is filled with adaptogenic herbs. And I think you could live, live on that alone, with some water, of course. This is Leaf Artemis. He's our little boy. And he came through on the chocolate, <laughs> like fully. Like he, 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 the first word he said was cacao. Jaya, jaya, jaya namo. In the Amazon and stuff like that. And the shamans, you know, when they were preparing their concoctions, they, they sing specific chants. Om gana pataye namo nama. It's the belief that everything is vibration and that everything is connected. Gongana pataye namo nama. This one is vanilla vabuti. 
And what's Vibhuti, Ron? Vibhuti is like when a yogi or a saint reaches a certain state of enlightenment, they produce something out of their third eye. Or their hand. Or their hand. This is um, purple chocolate Jesus. Yeah. This is a funny bar. Thank you, Leaf. Holy cacao, the second coming of chocolate is now. We've got bliss like this. Bliss like this. Abandon to play all day. And cacao will definitely do that for you. Na 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 Donc, si ça allait à table à la Bon, à quoi bon sang qu'on a eu à moi? À fond, il y a un calme sur la tannue et vara pour attendre de line is Hershey, the sweetest place on earth. And I think people naturally jump to the, oh, it's where they make the chocolate. You can smell the chocolate in the air. But that sweetest place on earth concept isn't just about chocolate. It's about the attitude of the people here. It's about how you feel when you're here. It really is a place that is absolutely happy. 
name is Mindy Bianca, and I'm the Public Relations Director for Hershey Entertainment and Resorts, which is one of the Hershey entities. We've added several new attractions, an entire outdoor recreation complex, a year-round ice skating rink. We have an entire water area in our theme park now, a new roller coaster, new restaurants popping up all the time. Uh, we acquired a new golf course in 2007, and so now we have four golf courses. So it just, change is constant and very positive. This is my home here in Hershey. It's actually uh, one of the first streets uh, built in Hershey. A lot of people in Hershey uh, have grown up here and not many people move away because of such a wonderful town it is. When I was younger, I, I was involved in many sports. It was constantly going from one sport to the other. I kind of understood going into college that you know, sports wasn't going to be my forte. And nowadays, I'm an assistant front office manager here at the Hotel Hershey. I've uh, worked here a little over four years, um, all in the front, front office role. My great-grandfather actually started uh, when he was 14 years old working for the Hershey Company. My grandfather actually delivered milk during the war uh, via horse and buggy. And my father uh, had many jobs working in the factory. And now I'm continuing that legacy of working up at the Hotel Hershey. When anything's mass-produced, a human touch gets lost. No one out there is making the chocolate that we're doing. So as far as I'm concerned, the competition doesn't even exist for us. And we haven't seen a movie in like six, seven years. To us, it's normal because we're so passionate about what we're doing. I imagine some, somebody could encapsulate that we have a marketing program. We really are very word of mouth. We have stores that we ship out to. A lot of private orders and people shop online. We have Woody Harrelson, who loves the chocolate a lot. Sting, Alanis Morissette, Daryl Hannah, 
Sandra O, oh, Alexander Payne. I'm fully into fair trade organic. I make sure that all of our beans are coming from projects like that. We get so many calls now that we can't really talk to everybody. So we thought, well, let's create something that use, let's use technology. We love doing our YouTube videos and sharing what we do and where we do it here on our land. Well, welcome to the secret land of Is. And what is right now is winter wonderland right here. Um, we're like in the middle of January and it is beautiful. The lake is frozen over. We're in the middle of the lake. And we thought with all this coldness, we talk about things that can warm your heart. And chocolate is a beautiful thing to warm your heart. This is our chocolate. Our chocolate is totally packed with nutrients, just too numerous to go into. And then I grind it up, grind it, grind it, grind it. And then it ends up kind of turning into a powder and a paste. Chocolate skin products. It was it's just- It's got over 22 amino acids. You find if you just eat 22 amino acids. And- Just miss uh, that spot. There we go. Good luck, maybe the fish will eat some chocolate for later. So I don't know if I can even call it a food. It's elevating their giddy molecules. Those uh, PEA molecules. Yes. It's, uh, Actually, I could hardly even speak normally because I'm so yeah. cold. And really eat and take time with it and feel go the into magic it. of it and go into it. Well, have a great day and thank you so much for tuning in again. Je dois tout au chocolat. Sinon, je sais pas ce que j'aurais fait. J'ai habité à la campagne et on n'avait que du chocolat de très très mauvaise qualité. C'était vraiment tellement mauvais qu'on ne pouvait pas aimer le chocolat. Le jardin dans mon entreprise, c'est tout simplement ma culture d'enfant. Exactement ce qu'il y a chez mes parents, c'est exactement le même jardin. On va couper la menthe pour faire des recettes. On la coupe, hop, on infuse. C'est vraiment un moment magique. Quand j'étais petit, mon grand-père était apiculteur. Il m'a transmis la culture de manger le miel. Et donc, c'est pour ça que tout simplement, aujourd'hui, c'est revenu ici aussi. Ça rentre dans les nougats, dans les chocolats, dans les caramels. C'est vraiment un ingrédient euh, capital. Que je suis euh, responsable et garant de la qualité de chaque chocolat. Il n'y a pas un chocolat qui ne peut aller au magasin sans que je sois sûr. Il y a deux niveaux dans l'artistique. Il y a l'artistique que l'on commercialise, une petite pièce pour Pâques, pour la Saint-Valentin. Des... Et puis l'artistique pure. Alors, très souvent, on les garde dans le, dans le laboratoire, on les expose, elles peuvent tourner de magasin en magasin.
Et ça, c'est un travail qui va demander euh, au moins un mois, un mois de travail. Sinon, ça veut dire 400, 500 heures. Il C'est Mais bon, 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 en tant que tel, bon, il est très pour et 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 il est très pour On a du masson à Tanale, Calibanou, Benevelado. On a couru à Nufa. I remember pretty clearly, uh, second grade uh, during school was, was the first time that I had the ability to, to watch uh, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. The movie kind of depicts what a little boy's life in, in Hershey's like. Schools used to take children through. The year I was supposed to go, uh, uh, they, they discontinued that, which is unfortunate. I'm, I'm kind of like Charlie and, and would like to be able to, to get inside that chocolate to get a tour of it. Hello, and welcome to the Hershey Chocolate Factory Tour. Please remain seated at all times and keep your hands, arms, and legs inside the car. Hershey's Chocolate World is famous for Hershey's Great American Chocolate Tour. our free simulated tour ride of how we make our famous Hershey's chocolate. And of course, it always ends with a free Hershey sample. The cocoa beans arrive from tropical areas all over the world. 
Leanna Miser, L-E-A-N-N-A, M as in Mary, E-I, S as in Sam, E-R, sales and marketing manager for Hershey's Chocolate World. From here, the beans are sorted as computers supervise the process. Hershey's Chocolate World is the corporate visitor center for the Hershey Company. And with three million visitors each and every year, we are the world's most visited corporate visitor center. The refining process grinds the chocolate until it reaches a uniform and smooth consistency. Hershey PA is the sweetest place on earth. The only place in the whole world where you can see how chocolate is made. Our goal at Hershey's is to keep you smiling because bringing happiness to you is what we're all about. Plus tu travailles et plus tu as d'idées. C'est un truc que je fais que de démonter quoi. Je démonte, je remonte. Mais là, dès que tu veux bouger un petit, quelque chose, systématiquement, il faut tout, euh, faut tout découper et tout remettre en place. Donc ça, c'est ça, c'est pénible quoi. Ma première sculpture en chocolat, c'était une locomotive. J'ai mis un an pour, le, pour la faire. C'était ma première pièce et c'était le début. Ce sapin qui est gigantesque, quoi. 10 mètres de haut. Donc on a le record du monde, la plus grande pièce en hauteur. On est sur le Guinness Book. Et donc ça, c'est une. Euh, on a travaillé pour une, une grande marque de, de glace. Donc la glace est ici. Il voulait toute une chambre en chocolat. Donc on a tout fabriqué en chocolat. Avec euh, le très très grand couturier Karl euh, Lagerfeld. C'est qu'en chocolat, la problématique, c'est que c'est fragile, il suffit d'un coup de soleil et tout fond. Et donc, on ne peut pas garder une œuvre très longtemps. Donc, et comme je travaille énormément, je trouvais dommage de laisser tout fondre ou tout se détruire ou tout s'abîmer. C'est super lourd, quoi. C'est magnifique. J'adore cette pièce, quoi. C'est une forme qui n'est pas, pas simple. Et euh, c'est comme ça qu'est né euh, les poissons, ces poissons lune. Jusqu'à aujourd'hui, ils font même de la musique. Tout enfant qui doit sortir du territoire de pour aller vers la Côte d'Ivoire, c'est-à-dire sa sortie est subordonnée à un titre qu'on appelle titre de voyage pour enfants. Tout enfant qui n'a pas ça sera vraiment retourné. Commissaire de police adjoint, commissaire de police de Kajilo. Il y a des véhicules qui, qui, qui vont à travers des pistes. Il contourne les postes de police frontière. Il échappe à tout contrôle de la frontière. Pour ne pas vous dire qu'il y a tel nombre d'enfants maliens en Côte d'Ivoire qui travaillent dans les plantations, nous ne pouvons pas le dire. Ah, 
Tomorrow is our third annual Walk in the Woods with David Wolf, and uh, he's a great friend of ours. David Wolf is kind of like a raw food guru. He's an amazing lecturer. He's a really great orator. He introduced us to the whole chocolate thing. Just put one plant there, one plant there. And he really brought forward the notion that chocolate isn't just some confectionery thing. It can actually be a powerful, nutrient-dense food. It's going to be over 100 people coming here to be reignited or to be ignited for the first time of what all this is about. It goes, see on that landing right behind there? Many people are coming to, to, to walk through that, that gate of transformation. This is Milton Hershey's High Point Mansion. This is Founders Hall. The Hotel Hershey. The original Hershey Chocolate Factory the homestead, Milton Hershey's birthplace, and the one-room schoolhouse. One of the reasons I don't have the zoo on here is because I can actually look behind my house and see a couple of the exhibits. And actually, just outside my room, this is the elk. Um, some, some days we get to, uh, we hear him uh, when he's hungry, most likely. Originally it was exotic animals, now it's concentrated about just North American uh, wildlife animals, so no monkeys. When I was looking for colleges, I uh, found a college that I really enjoyed down in North Carolina. Once I graduated, started looking for jobs down there. Didn't really find any jobs that I was interested in. So I decided that I would come back to Hershey. I really never thought I would return. When I've been away from Hershey, probably the most thing I, uh, I most miss would be the aroma of uh, the smell of the chocolate in Hershey. on the rainiest day is when you get the best smells of chocolate in the air. So even when Mother Nature wants to make it look ugly, we are all excited about the smell of baking brownies, <laughs> so.
But two more way more and empower now. Right. This is sugar, sugar, whenever men are at talk of sugar, honey, cake, mama. Yellow mamma. Meo too, Jatty. I'll patron sigle in Murray to get his abafo and every bar of food to get a cassidy. We are banning. Ya pi fana bara mata blango mi iba keni desera yorom na ibi lafi jago ya lebe iba ke ajala yo iba ke amaje yo iba ke o kengi de we ogun ambon ntuko fo san we su wa men papa mi se 50 patron o san wa etan tu pa tu mi Maybe Sandig Balcom car to Tabby name, but more to go to the Sampa Saka to Pampa. It's a galita la catayeti. Don't go lay Calufla cola, Sisa. I look at Don't a Calufla, and you went to a lega trap or Placilla. Don't go live it up and wear. Bon, my second no way, Patron, willing and an abuoli. for coming. The outhouse, of course you're going to pee in the forest, the outhouse is um, past the cars are where there's a big gazebo. Inside we have a great cafe with really high quality raw foods. And um, do you will pee shortly. How you doing? How's everybody doing? You guys ready to talk about chocolate? Yeah. Been looking forward to this day for months and months and months. It's always great to come out to Ron and Nadine's place. I mean, here's the best cacao beans ever. That is that is the best ever that's ever been out in the world. Just showed up here. You ready to have some? You're in the front row, you get to have some. Cacao beans were money in ancient Mexico. Until what year? When did the peso replace the cacao bean as money in Mexico? Good guess, 1682, 1886. Cacao has experienced its fall from grace. It got turned into a food that people thought for a while was actually toxic and poisonous. People ask me like, what do you think about this chocolate? It's like dark chocolate and it's like 70% cacao. And... Yeah, but there's better stuff out there. I don't wanna eat swag. Right? I mean, if you can have number one, do you, do you want number 50? All the research on chocolate that's indicating that it fights heart disease, that's indicating that it's good for high blood pressure, it's indicating that it's good for your brain, it's indicating that it's a food that should be celebrated because it enhances mood and fights depression. All of that research is now reviving that original majesty that is chocolate. You ready for this? Chocolate is a whopping 10% antioxidants in its natural cacao bean form. I had to review all that data again. That appears to be the case. That is absurd. That is by far the highest of any food in the world. Côté artistique, euh, j'ai souvent des thématiques euh, qui sont beaucoup sur l'écologie, sur euh, la nature et comment on préserve le monde. Et euh, j'ai la chance et que je peux passer des messages. Alors la provenance de mes chocolats, c'est le monde entier, mais plutôt sur l'Amérique du Sud, Indonésie et Madagascar. 
avec une grosse partie d'achat bio et équitable. Alors Laurent Houtan, derrière, il va forcément y avoir une histoire. C'est qu'aujourd'hui, euh, toutes les forêts primaires sont en train de diminuer comme, euh, comme, comme je sais pas quoi, c'est un truc de dingue. On coupe l'Amazone, on coupe en Indonésie. Si, si vraiment en Indonésie, on ne protège pas son biotope, euh, il est mort. Quoi. Ça m'emmerde qu'on coupe des arbres pour 500 ans, quoi. Tout ça pour faire pousser des cacaos en dessous, quoi, des cacaoyers. Ça te dérange de couper des arbres pour le caca... ah ouais, ça... cacao, puis c'est ça que vous utilisez comme matière principale. Je suis d'accord, mais il euh, y a des priorités dans la vie. Hein, c'est. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire, ça Il y a des priorités. Ben, il y a des priorités. Un arbre qui a 500 ans, non, euh, il lui faut 500 ans, quoi. Donc. Euh... Ben avant tout, il faut protéger... Euh... On peut se passer du chocolat pour un arbre. De... Ah ben ça, c'est sûr. Pana Mycelium spores, which are the mushroom spores, are like one of the plant matter that can travel farthest in the universe. It has been seen into far-reaching places of the cosmos, so that is one of the ingredients we use in the chocolate. If you look at the cacao pod, it looks like a little spaceship. We can go to the moon with this chocolate. We can go beyond the moon with this chocolate. It's the food of the gods. It takes you out to where the gods are. Hi there. I was wondering who I could speak to about um, who, what, who's in charge of the food program there. I just, I just wanted to offer food program for, just for for the space program. Like I don't, I've never done. Yeah, for the for, for the astronauts, for for everybody, but mostly for the astronauts. You'd have to call the astronauts office, sir. 
Hi there. I was wondering who I could talk to about um, offering um, food to the astronauts. Like uh, the, well, I'm trying to say this without sounding like I'm crazy or something. Ah, <laughs> Ouais, Aujourd'hui, je pense que c'est très chaud. Je pense qu'on va quand même tenter d'emmener la pièce. Quoi. Je suis un garçon un peu impatient en général, donc quand c'est le moment, c'est le moment. C'est comme avec les filles, quoi. <rire> Un petit peu. Ah, oh, putain C'est une catastrophe. C'est déjà cassé. Ça cassait les doigts, tout le bordel. Hi there. Um, I was wondering, if, are you the person I can speak to? I make a really potent, nutritious chocolate. And, um, Before you go into details, let me get oh. you the office that you need to talk to. Okay. No! Amenez votre table au bord, là. Amenez la table au lieu de faire de con, putain. J'ai calé avec ma jambe en dessous. Le beurre de cacao euh, fond à 37 degrés. 
Si on est à partir de 37 degrés, il est exactement comme nous. S'il dépasse 37 degrés, il est complètement à l'état liquide. Et nous, si on dépasse 37 degrés, évidemment, on n'est pas bien. Il fonctionne exactement dans le même sens que nous. d'amour, c'est évident. Je crois que je l'ai pour la vie, je vais mourir avec. Hein. Mon cercueil, il sera en chocolat. <rire> A lot of people spend a lot of time wondering, you know, what would Milton Hershey think of this? And honestly, I don't think there's anyone around alive today who was of an old enough age to be able to communicate with Mr. Hershey, who passed away more than 65 years ago, to truly know his insights on things. When I was younger, I, um, I wanted to move to a city, something with the hustle and bustle that you could use the public transportation or um, exotic location. But I'm very satisfied with where I've ended up. Living in Hershey is going to be me for the rest of my life. Everybody loves chocolate. Our chocolate, I feel, is like the original drum beat of what was beating through the ages from the Aztec times all the way through. The old supply and demand? Supply and demand. <laughs> Cutting, wrapping, to make about 20 bars. That's that's how long. Five hours. It's like a long process. Everything evolves, and now, just starting off, it'll be a thousand bars a day that we can make. We're living on pioneer land, and we're going to be pioneering some major things here that the planet is yet to see. Bon, 
Mm-mm. Antara Kadi kosong kan? Ya kadi. <laughs> 